Have you ever wondered what's inside a videographer's bag? Well, let me show you, coming up next. So as someone who captures video and edits them professionally, I am always refining my bag. So let me show you what we have right now. Of course, I will have all of the items talked about in this video listed down below in the description. The first and most important thing I have in my bag is my Sony a7 III. Of course, the lens that is normally on there is what you're watching me on right now, which is a Sigma Art 24 to 70 mil. In here, I also have the kit lens that came with the Sony a7 III, which is the 28 to 70. Now, this lens is okay. Uh, I really only use it when I absolutely just need to slap a lens on and just cover some behind the scenes footage and I'm not trying to carry around a giant lens like this one right here. Now, another cool lens that I have actually, and it's gonna look a little bigger than it really is, but that is my Helios 44 to 58 mil lens. This thing is awesome. Here, I'll show it to you without the adapter on it. Here it is just by itself. It's a great little lens and I've been using it more so lately to one, really practice pulling focus and two, really like the look of it. And I'm trying to get more into documentary filmmaking and a great person here on YouTube, Mark Bone, actually has a video on the specific lens and I'll link it right here. Next, I have my microphone. This is a Movo microphone. It's a lot like a, it's like a knockoff road. Works really well. It's real small, compact, real easy to put on the shoe mount on the a7 III. Screws right on there. And uh, I actually really like the audio on it. A lot of the vlogs that I filmed back in the early days and a lot of videos that I've shot actually use this microphone over a standalone mic like a Shure SM7B or the shotgun mic that I normally have on top of the FX6 here. Next, we have this knockoff Sony battery charger. Uh, it actually came with two batteries for my a7 III, but I can put the batteries in here and allow them to charge. And it also serves as a power bank, so that's always nice to have. Now, this next item will probably start to get phased out of this bag now that I have several extra batteries, but for the longest time, I only had one battery for my a7 III. So what I had instead was this Anchor portable charger. And what I would do is literally hold it underneath the Sony plug it in and allow it to power it while I was using it. This was really for if I was really in a bind and needed power or if I was filming something and the battery just starting to get low and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to make it just on that battery charge. So definitely might keep it around because it's also good for charging phones, charging other devices. So I wouldn't really refrain from having this. It's just, I might make room for other things. Now, of course I have miscellaneous body caps and lens caps and cables. That stuff just finds its way in there, but I always think that it's a good idea to have a couple of these laying around anyways. You never know if the cap on your camera might break or if somebody you're working with who's co-shooting may need one of these as well. So it's always good just to have a couple of backups on hand. Gotta have a microfiber cloth. I do have a loose one in the front. This one is a brand new one, but I like having these in case you need to wipe off your lens or clean anything else on your gear. Go ahead and roast me in the comments. I don't know exactly what this is called, but this is great for getting dust away from the sensors, the lenses, and all of that. It's just really great. It just blows air. Okay, guys, that's basically everything that's inside of my bag. Of course, when this gets any big changes or if I get a new camera or new lenses, I will, of course, make a new video. But for the time being, this is basically my running gun bag. If I'm just going to a quick shoot or if it's, you know, traveling with me, for the most part, this is the rig that I use. The rig you're seeing me on right now mostly stays here. It's just a little too big to be lugging around everywhere, but when the time comes, I'll definitely be using the FX6 way more often. And of course, this is all inside of the Amazon Basics camera bag. I will see if I can link this exact one. Uh, this is actually gifted to me by somebody else in the studio. We actually have an identical one. So that's why there's tape on here, because we color code to make sure that we don't mix up equipment, even though everybody here at the studio is always so cool and we just share equipment anyways. But you always want to make sure you have your stuff. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If there's any other kind of content you want to see, leave it down in the comments below. And until next time, everybody, keep cutting.